Yeah, openly says he enjoys playing. He's been to a final. It was only an inspired Michael Van Goon, who averaged over 100, that stopped him. Well, a couple of times, Gilding's had a look at the 170 and got nowhere near it, but this time it was to hold throw. Gary Anderson to get, take a grip on the opening set. And for double ten. Anderson not settled yet. You feel he'll return here. Gilding had a start at 112 in the opening round, uh, opening round, opening leg. He's not going to get a go at 136. So Anderson looking at a two leg lead. 96. Gary Makes the adjustment, gets the break, takes a 2 0 lead, and the flying Scotsman, while not playing as devastatingly well as he was in the opening round, he was disappointing in the match play, and he wasn't great in the first round here, but he won it. Oh, hello. Ah, the digit of doom makes his first appearance this evening. Thumbs up for Andrew Gilding. To the 18s for Anderson. And he misses the big number, and Andrew Gilding's 180 might make the difference in this leg and indeed in this set. The timely 180 from Andrew Gilding. Options here now. 25 possibly or treble 15. To get a leg in this second round time, he's pulled it low again. So some set darts incoming, you feel, for Gary Anderson. Double top. And it's there. And Gary Anderson, that target at the top of the board, is working better for him than it is for Andrew Gilding. Isn't going his way. But it is against the darts, that's the one thing he can take encouragement from. Yeah, and it wouldn't be a complete rarity for Gilding to beat a world champion on a big TV stage. Obviously, he did it in round one against Rob Cross, but did it to MVG in that final of the UK Open. He'd done it to Clarsen, a BDO champ, and Glenn Durrant at the slam, of course. Gave him a little hug afterwards that Glenn wasn't particularly pleased with. A little hug? <laughs> the beauty. And this... This for the second leg, brilliant from Gary, in full flow, comfortably levels up the second set. ...to produce anything big in this leg, and Andrew Gilding might just have a golden opportunity to level this match at one apiece, despite being second best for so much of it. Brilliant stuff from Goldfinger. This set, if he can round off with it, get rid of his hundred, has just been a professional set from Andrew Gilding taking care of things on his own throw and he had it he pulled it that into a one and you feared for him in his second visit but this is to wrap up the second set one set that come and gone two have come and gone but it's a big ask for anderson still he's been kept to arm's reach by gilding in this set and he will not get a dart to win it gilding will get more attempts This must be a real frustrating position for the Flying Scotsman to be in. He's been on top for so much of this game. And yet now there is nothing between them. It is Andrew Gilding 1, Gary Anderson 1. 22 worlds, so December 21, that is a long time. A player of his quality. Yeah, the anniversary of that comes up in a few months. So the positive you take is that he's got a bit of sort of an 18-month window there to sort of plan his attack back into the top 16, the top 10 in the world, Gary Anderson. 16. Gary Rickhorn, 20. Double 10, then. Not even a thought of a celebration from Gary Anderson there. Anderson has now won six legs in this match, Dan. And they haven't really been competitive, the legs he's won, has he? And taking control of Ross. I'm saying that. Gilding fires in a second match. I was just about to say he's taking control of the set, but Gilding will get a look at one on one. The setup not brilliant from Anderson. One of these combo finishes is going to go at some point, surely. 
is it right now? Double 12. Third time he's done it. Missed the double, and Gary Anderson to take a 2 1 set lead. Staying on the 18s. That leaves the ball. And that does the job. Anderson does restore the set advantage. Brilliant from Gary Anderson. Gild had opportunities in legs two and three. But he's got to repeat the formula from set two. Double 12. Pinned it for the opening leg. He's going to need double six here. And that was wayward. He pulled that, Andrew. Just in inviting a bit of pressure here. He could have given himself a little cushion in this set. And Anderson slam the door shut in his leg. He can't. He threw that third that quite quickly. He's pulled it low. More opportunities for Gilding. Andrew Gilding has broken Gary Anderson's throw for the first time in this match. He needs one more leg to level the match and force a deciding set. Minimum requirement, you feel getting one treble, he got it. And in all likelihood, we'll get a look at the 66 to break back in this fourth set. You will do, but it's an awkward one, 66. You can get two darts at double, you may only get one. Gildan just going through the numbers, making sure he gets things right. Leaves him a single to double combo. Now Gary Anderson to break back. May just be one. 16. To stay in the fourth set. Pulls it low. He's pulled a couple of darts at tops in his set. And Gildan to clean sweep set four and send us all the way to the side. And not many saw this coming. We have a level game because Andrew Gilding is hitting back here. Is Gary Anderson fading and could we see a major upset? Gilding can't find a treble there. Anderson's left 1-4-1 one, one a few times in the match. This is the one occasion where he doesn't need to take it, but he may do. Pulls it low, but we'll be back. He will be back and it's nearly a sensational checkout, but that finish of 12 can get quite messy. If there's pressure applied here from Gilding, he is not out of this. Treble 20 needed to play. Yeah, any sort of pressure, he gets it. Good that. Anderson over to double six. And there's all sorts of things that can go wrong. That's one of them. You can come inside, that's one out of double three. You can bust your score, you can hit the 10, you do one. Anderson offers an opportunity for Gilding to lead in the match for the first time. And he's got two darts to do it. He only needs one. Gilding strikes first in the decided set. Errors from Gary Anderson. And plenty for the flying Scotsman to ponder now. For the first time in the match, Andrew Gilding takes a ton plus finish. It comes in the deciding set. And Andrew Gilding kicks off again first dart. Gary Anderson, you could see him at the back of the stage there. He knows. Because he hasn't put Gilding away, he's left himself vulnerable. He's on a finish. That's a big ask. A brilliant setup from Gary Anderson. The score of 1-3-4 leaves 32. Andrew Gilding needs 1-3-4. It is on. It is still on. Imagine. Imagine. Double 16 missed by Andrew Gilding. Gary Anderson let off the hook again. Great effort from Gilding. Anderson. Oh, that could be awkward blocking the double eight. And it proved awkward. Errors in every leg from both players. Missed darts at doubles. Gilding to lead again. All legs have gone against the darts. In this decider. And that trend continues. Andrew Gilding will now throw for a place in the quarterfinals of the Grand Prix for the very first time. Anderson just to stay in touch. How's your setup play here, Andrew? He's going to be on something makeable. 
I like it. He goes to the bullseye. And it means that Andrew Gilding just needs a single number and then a double to beat Gary Anderson. This a remarkable victory for Andrew Gilding. The UK Open champion has chased and chased. And now will have darts for the match. Tops for a place in the quarterfinals. Pulls it low, nod of the head. Big moment. And he's missed his opportunity. A let off for Anderson again. Can he take advantage? Does he go aggressive? I'm not sure he's even decided yet. To the treble 18. Is it double double? It was, and he doesn't get it. And Andrew Gilding gets more opportunities. Second best for so long. He sprung into life towards the back end of the game. It is majestic. It is golden from Goldfinger. Gary Anderson is beaten. And Andrew Gilding is a World Grand Prix quarter finalist. Is walk on to me, he just he strikes me as someone uh, on a mission. He looks, he looks focused and ready to play. And look at these darts as oh, I say that. Oh, Schindler may be struggling here to get into his game, into this leg, even. Nervy edgy start from the German. No. Bunting and Love, a whitewash in the opening. Leg, 1-3-8. Oh, beautifully done, Stephen Bunting. Yeah. Fantastic 1-3-8. Oh, right smile from Schindler. Acknowledged by his opponent. Hadn't got away. Whitewash Bunting is cooking. 57 average, plays 105 average. But as you say, John, in this tournament, the World Grand Prix especially, averages really don't matter. Well, that's a welcome sight. You can't follow it, though. 140. Steve Newing 65. Ruthless. Very ruthless. What a set from Steve Bunton. You'll want to get a break of throw right away, especially with that open. You don't want to squander a good open like that. You don't want to squander a nine dart attempt either. Well, the way he's playing, don't rule it out. Here we go. This is the seventh. Eight, oh, superb leg, though. He will come back for 72, and this is against the throw. Schindler must be just wondering what on earth is going on here. I, I, I'm actually throwing pretty decent now, and I'm still not even in the leg I started. Well, at the moment, there's nothing he can't do, there's nothing he can't achieve. 11 dart leg. And Use the extra weight. Sounds funny because it's still a light dart, as I said, but uh, to him it isn't. If you spend your whole career way, way down there, then that's going to feel 94. much, much heavier and, and significantly different. Obviously, he likes it. the great differences isn't it between the players you know Ryan Searles up to about 36 grams each dart this to get a leg here double 12 double six for one one here yes and when any kind of a sniff of a chance is few and far between that is so important for Martin it's the game plan for Schindler and that's the game, that's the World Grand Prix, encapsulated in, in just two sets. Schindler here, averaging 95, Bunting averaged around 105 in winning the opening set. It's more the doubles than the actual numbers. 
Schindler's been starting well and finishing well and Bunting hasn't been starting well at all. For the set then. That's a great comeback from Martin Schindler, isn't it? Schindler on debut at the Grand Prix last year with only one leg, one solitary leg in the opening round and he was well beaten by Gerwin Price. Good thinking from the German. Oh, that's a good start. So he was going for two tops, but he'll just have to settle for leaving it. Well, the good thinking. Pay dividends. He could. And tops for a 160 out. What a shot, Martin Schindler breaks the throw. Stephen Buntick sitting on tops, has to watch 160 finish from the German, and look at that celebration. He knows what it means. He now has the throw, but the ever so important in attempt. Ahead for the first time, Schindler. Is that the moment? Is that the game changer? Just feels so much better inside when your opponent's sitting on a double. <laughs> you know, you, you get your value. It's really get your value for it then. You just tear into the heart of your opponent in, in a brutal way, and it means so much more than what three darts normally mean. Oh, may not be enough here, for Bunton. This for a two sets to one lead. Just too good at the moment, isn't he? A shake of the head. He might be about to lose another leg here, Stephen Bunting. An 11, so 13s. And a bull. And this would be painful as well. Schindler finding all sorts of ways to potentially upset his opponent. Well, that would have been a double whammy for Bunting. Just to stay in the set. Yeah. And he breaks! Alarm bells are ringing for Bunting, there's no doubt about it. He has to hope that Schindler doesn't get a crack at bull here or double five. Well, Schindler harbored the difference. Bull double 16. 25. 17. I'm top. Well, that 17 was pretty iffy, and I don't know if that affected him, shook him a little on the on the tops effort, but this could be very costly. A chance to force deciding leg on double ten. And there's a yell from a It's all in the young German's hands now, Stuart. Well, has Bunting got to nail this in six starts? Because, yeah, even considering that Schindler doesn't take out 147, but he's given himself every chance. Brilliant 140 from Bunting. Schindler here for the map. There's one. Well, he needed treble 18 for double 18, and... This affords Bunting a chance to save himself. Must hit. Now or never for Bunting. Ain't going to be rushed. Schindler takes a look at the big screen. Tell you what, that was brutal, real 
bottle, real courageous start from Bunting. Schindler was looking down for the first down. He half looked up for the second, and his eyes were focused on the third, which went into tops. And we have a decider. To the deciding set. Where's this one heading? Well, you wouldn't doubt that he can do it. You really wouldn't. It's only a double eight for a one, two, seven. And he felt like he was going to hit that. You could tell on the reaction. He couldn't quite believe he had missed it. He didn't really throw it poorly. I think Bunting thought it was going in too. But he's had big time bottle. Again, no. squeeze it into the left there. And there was a few times early in the match where Schindler negotiated a double eight to kind of settle things down for himself. This time he uses it. To, you know, to put the pressure on. Stephen Bunting beat Nathan Aspinall in a last leg shootout in the first round. Will he get the chance to do it again here? But outstanding visit from Schindler. Yeah, he'll be thinking, OK, 103 and I am done. I don't know what's harder sometimes is when you're trying to stay alive or trying to finish off your opponent. They can be equally difficult in their own way. But Bunsen isn't quite done. To win it. Treble 20. And he has a match dark. Yeah. And he takes the match dark. And he takes out Stephen Bunting in an absolute thriller. A third top plus finish for Martin Schindler. He in those rounds where he was eliminated and round about that time he was certainly in the conversation wasn't he as people discuss who will be the next cab off the rank in terms of a maiden major winner christoph was certainly in the chat then wasn't he yeah and he was in the chat for the the premier league spots because he kept reaching the latter stages of the ones that mattered unfortunately for him just couldn't quite do that little bit extra that's needed some kind of extra that was good He's the treble for the double, and that is a beautifully constructed tongue plus outshot from Gawin Bryce in the opening leg of the match. His win over James Wade was extraordinary, really. It was a, a match that you would have to say in terms of quality was mediocre, and Wade looked to have it won, but Ratajski ultimately won the last three legs of the final set when Wade just simply couldn't buy a starting double. Yeah, it, it wasn't a good game, but someone had to win it. And Christoph kind of did what Wade does to so many, nicked it. Well, in professional sport, when you don't get paid for playing well, you get paid for winning. Yes. He won. Can he hit double 16? My word, he can. Game prize with a ton plus opening salvo in the opening leg, and Christoph. And now, Price in firm control of this set. 105. We've seen two ton plus out shots in the opening set. One from Price, 120 in the first leg. One from Matajski, 112 in the second leg. Single to leave his favourite double at the top of the shot. And Gerwin Price catches in on another big finish to take the opening set. The former world champion, the former Grand Prix champion, has the early edge against the Polish Eagle. He couldn't score and he couldn't finish. Yeah, but old apart old. from that, his game was in good shape. Yes, correct. 59. But, but it, he was allowed back in the game. That was I'm, set one, by the way, wasn't it? He couldn't do any of those things against yeah. Wade. I'm not convinced he's going to be allowed back in the game here. It wasn't a good performance against James, but he got through. 
Pryth is a ruthless operator in the main. Double ten. And fumbling for a finish here, the Iceman. But Ratajski not on a finish himself, so Price got another three in the locker here at double ten and down if he needs to. 65. And he'd become very adept at double top, double ten and double five in that World Championship winning oh. season. Double two. Yeah, he looked the most likely player on the planet to hit tops and tens, didn't he? Yeah. We've seen legs when Price has been on a finish after nine darts. Here he's on 205 after 15. Probably his worst leg of the match here. And an inopportune moment for the Welshman. Yeah, you get the feeling the next 30 or 40 seconds are going to decide this match pretty soon. I'm with you. Two crucial visits to the board. Price may not get that second crucial visit if this goes in. Tops! Wow! Full credit here to Christoph Ratajski. Not long ago, the set and, by consequence, the match appeared over. Yep. And there, one... But he does so. Great last start. That really was. Needed it. Well, it was all those dreadful darts trying to get away at the start of this leg, but now look at the quality from both Arrowsmiths. Oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty to watch. He leaves tops and says to Ratajski, can you, Christoph? Can you, Christoph? Oh, my word. You heard the click of the wire, didn't you? You did. Price wasn't watching, but if he had been, he would have had his heart in his mouth. It was very, very close to the treble 19. And Gerwin Price, three in hand at tops. And he doesn't miss that very often, and he hasn't missed it there. And Gerwin Price now is in complete control of this second round tie. OK, being behind against someone who may drop their level to a point of that you can punish it. Price isn't one of those players, is he? Yes, he might go off the boil, but it, it's not normally for that long. Leaves the bullseye. 65. He's Fifth throwing really relaxed. Leaves the treble, gets it to leave the ball. The target price just missed. Ratajski pins it. Pins. He's got three, but is he going to be reeled in again by Gerwin Price? Ratajski, though, eyeing up 76 to go in front and break the price throw in front in this set, I mean. Choice, it'll be 16 to leave the tops. Oh, my word. So close. It's interesting he went for the 48, though. He did. Not, not a fan. OK, he hit the 16. It, it wasn't anything bad happened, but this may be bad for him. Double 18. These champions. They get a sniff. He hasn't set it up either. The last four darts from Christoph been a real debacle from him. 50. To get him, sorry, to get himself out of trouble here to win the set, to keep the match going, to stay in the Grand Prix. 74. Gavin Price, Gavin two darts Price. away from the quarterfinals again. Third straight year here at the Morningside in Leicester. One dart away, double top away, two in hand. Sixteen. Well, that might prolong his evening's work. Has to attack this. Don't forget his darts lay down. That could block it. 27. Well, you saw immediately after the dart hit the nine and how far forward he was. Lunged at it. Well, Ratajski got a chance to detain Price on stage for at least another set, but it's all over now. If you look at the scoreline, it looks like it was ice and easy for the Welshman, but it wasn't that because every set went to a fifth and deciding leg. But... It's 
Bocan find a bit of range and a bit of rhythm. That'll help Smith in this opening leg. And this will help Brendan. Ooh, Fantastic from absolutely season. nowhere. Dolan finds a 177 to lead double 10. But will he get a shot? <laughs> well, the first three quarters of that leg, very ordinary. The last little bit, outstanding from both. Be very disappointed with that with Brendan Dolan. The leg is really away oh, from Brendan Dolan now. There again. The fourth consecutive leg, the setup shot has been a 140 for Michael Smith. Double eight. Ah, oh, well done, Michael Smith. He made heavy weather of it. He's not been at his best, but he's still been good enough to take the opening set. The fact that he didn't get away with his first three darts and he's still in a good position. Go on then. Go on then, Brendan. Well, two visits of 40 odd, then a 180. Yeah, go figure. 90. Brendan, you require 156. I've already taken out four really good clutch finishes, 60. Michael Smith. Michael, you require 96. 96 both. And he's he done it again. He took it out to win the first leg, and crucially, he's taken out again here. And I'll tell you what, after failing to get away with his first three dials, that's a big, big leg to win. Eighty-three to lead double twelve for a two-set lead. Still got to win it. Still got to win it. And he does. And Michael Smith is one set away from a little bit of personal history. He's never been past this stage at the World Grand Prix. Just can't find that scoring power, perhaps, that he's produced as consistently as he comes back with a 180, of course. <laughs> You did the trick, Laura. What's that? I spoke and the opposite happened, yes. 44. Michael, you require 60. It certainly helped Michael Smith. Ah, that's difficult. That's the move. Yeah, it, it was always going to be difficult. 50. It was the worst possible place for the dart in the single 20 for Michael Smith and it... oh he got it double six Easy two. good effort from Dolan only require 20. may not be enough Starts in hand. You can see the relief, can't you? Good dart in the end because that's all of the bed that he could see. It was a so really good camera Michael angle. And that's a really good camera shot of a disappointed Brendan Dolan, and so he should be. Smith back in again. Back to back 180s for Michael Smith. I blame you for all this fantastic scoring. <laughs> you were right on cue, and they they must have been listening. 60. Michael, you're going 105. Double 16. For a brilliant yeah, leg of dance from Michael Smith. 105 finish to follow back to back maximums, and he's one leg away from a famous win.
for him anyway. Well, he took out 105 to win the last leg. And he's left himself 105 for the match this time. 47. I'm going to roll 105. Double 16 again. And Michael Smith makes a little bit of personal history. It's taken him 12 years. But Michael Smith has finally won through to the quarterfinals of the World Grand Prix.